Yo, this Bar Business Battle League, Operation Bars, make some fucking noise. Yeah! I'm Austin Fire, I got my man Jay Rome hosting it. Goody. And main first battle of the night to my right. Take week, we stay sick, keep me up, it's good. To my left. Vito Cognac, DTA, rest in peace with Super Joe. Let's get it, Ben Bars. Probably need silence. Go. Now my brother is one of the main reasons I even wanted this battle. He said it would give us a form of balance and as I searched around the Hollow Valley for my next victim, it's taking it over the challenge. Well, I said fuck it because I live for the challenge. Welcome to hell, bitch. I'm the death angel and I'll be your chauffeur, nigga. Squirrel, this your man, right? Well, I don't give a fuck because I don't know this nigga. At least not personally. And just by observing you, I can tell you what the logic is. That you have a vexatious intent to override anything positive. Hold on. Vexatious intent to override. We know if you take the first letters of those four words, put them together, they spell out with one name. Don't they? You know. You got those four words. I described everything I need to know about you. You one of them battle rap bullies, right? I dare you try that shit with me, you gonna be like, damn, I must not bully, right? It's just getting strong and I was dodging in and out of my peripheral sight, now I'm getting gutted. Gotta start to a pulp and I see flashes of light. Now I'm a country nigga, sadistic, whenever rain comes to water, that's what you're barking for when you walk in the village corridor. Oh, I hope you came in this bitch bearing arms, Vito, cause if you did, some longer resistance is gone, Vito. One bam, to this April fail, this jackass in the song, Vito. Long nose, have you eaten something the same size as a hoagie, you darn, Vito. Now I accumulated a bigger plan to dismember this bitch of a man who thought he could stand because of disease and force in his hand. But I have to kill for you, and that's going up get somebody who was just as strong but bigger somebody with the same type of heart but sicker see what i'm doing to you now this is how i make your bodily fluids leak out just so i can pave the ground and i crave the sound when your body falls where the blade was found because you're still blind because i get you in this battle you're still gonna try to see me in mind well bitch you cannot reveal anything about a man who doesn't hide shit because what i could do to you was simple yet at the same time it's quite sick as from this distance i could pierce through your voice box clench my fist over your vocal cords to see the twist yank that shit out with a grip and chuck that bitch <laughs> Then you see the new definition of what I like to call reaching a high Bitch, hold on, is it that time again? Yes it is But not to get personal But I'm about to, how do you say it? Address some shit Cause I distinctly remember you telling J-Mo This is what he said You been on the sidewalk all your life What the fuck you know about them streets, nigga? Whoa! That shit was tough No, seriously, how you put that shit at the end of your verse of closing, dog? Killer but the funny thing is, after I viewed your battle, I went home and watched Shotgun Show versus Bill Collector in the same setup of line, and Punch started to sound very familiar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, wait, 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 hold on. Oh. At the end of Shotgun second, right when he ends it, he uses the same exact punch, and all your bitch ass did was reverse the sentence, you plagiarizing, biting nigga. Now, we all learned back in school whenever you quote another man's writings in your compositions, the number one thing you're supposed to do is what? Sock the nigga, but tell me Ooh. one thing. <laughs> what the fuck are you gonna do to me, Vito? You gonna spit a useless punchline about my girl or something? I'm sorry to tell you, but you did all of that meaningless ass research for nothing because I know every time you look at your life and what you could have become, you realize me and you battling is the greatest shit that will fucking happen to you when you damn near 30, son. After I take that 30 gun, I hit the building. Go after everything on that front porch, let alone anything I think is living. And he keep walking, talking, breathing, it's all dead. First hallway I go through, I'm taking off. Hey, hold on, wait a minute. There's still signs of life. I need to take out his lungs, take every bit of air out of his fucking system, then you'll be done. In that bed, when you bury, I got a place on your fucking stand for you. In that urn, cremation is on the brass, and that's gonna burn. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, I gotta, don't even count this as a line, but it's gotta be said. Don't this nigga look like a combination of fucking Whoopi Goldberg and Mr. Ed if they had a kid? <laughs> Time. Oh! oh. Yeah. Exactly. 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 Word up, gang. Vito Cognac mm -hmm. versus K Quit. A6. This battle was set up to be a classic. Nah. They lied to you, K. This battle is your death, and you were set up to get put in your casket, K. Your murder, tragic, K. And I'm sure your family are mourning. And speaking of your family, your big brother, that's my home. <laughs> so why the fuck he ain't warned? <laughs> Don't matter now, I'm on you. Pause. See this go around? I came to kill shit. I mean really kill shit. So I run up on K quick with that K quick. I let that K spit and get rid of K quick. Uh, now they said K was sick. I was like, nah, that's just a light cough. So this hard act, pardon that. This nigga quite soft. You pussy. I bet you piss yourself if they cut these lights off. This guy <laughs> knock your head right off. 
Okay. You small change, my nigga. A tax write off. K said he had the better cars. I told him let's have a write off. We could go line for line on some cokehead shit. And from the looks of your videos, well, you know a lot about that cokehead shit. <laughs> but all them jokes dead, bitch. You getting bars. I'm at your neck like a bow tie. Catch him with his chick, get him both tied. He hoping for smooth sailings. Well, it's the wrong boat ride. MJ in the 90s, I'm back with that four five. My ain't good, nigga. You getting shot in both eyes from both sides. It's no surprise I'm snapping on this nigga. I mean, shit. What else did y'all expect? But let me guess. You had plans on pulling my car? Well, shit, nigga, let me give you the whole deck. I'm a no threat. I'll get rid of your whole set. Them hoes flex. These foes expose flesh. You'll wake up in cold sweats. Boy, my bars tough like them saloons in the old west. So when you acting like a big head, I'm gonna let that magnum bust like rough sex. Now, which one of them pussies want next? <laughs> Text their dump at his chest. When that beef on heat drum, we squeeze arms like a blood pressure test. You got a thug stress. I should let these slugs press your skull. For you even having the thought that you could beat me. Moi? Nigga, not at all. I came to bro. This target practice. And all you was good for was another blood stain on this wall. I told your brother you was dead as soon as he made the call. And guess what, K? He made the call. So these bullets <laughs> like Pokemon. You gotta catch them all. I just hope his brother there to catch you when you fall. But in case you ain't know, you fucking with the best. So all your fast rapping and loud yelling won't work with me, K. I ain't nothing like the rest. You try to play me foul, then out come text. P.S. Your brother set you up to get killed on this stage. You Malcolm X. God oh. bless. Fuck oh. So it's finally come to this point. After the long waiting, you send an anonymous friend request. All hell to absolutely no advantage, but I can't say that you tried your best Because that sound off is symbolic of the crafted cloth of that sit to piece I see in your piece when you round it off Not a predictable shit you say No, I feel the bullet, I'll kill him with a bullet to the head, dog Is that the type of shit that you want? Please, anybody can kill a note with that type of song Me, I come equipped with a different tone As I walk in this bitch with fucking Freddy Fingers A Wolverine hand and a Morocco Now I grew up on pixel artists in the shit Ooh, and the smell of a corpse is not a person me Before that sickest style I can break back that black dahlia And I can handle this shit surgically So I can work in this mission with a clean incision From pouring the gully Spread his ribs, cut through his tissue as I slip through his stomach And after I saw open his sternum And I spread open that chest out Well then take the liberty moving forward And move moving his large intestine You know what? I'm starting to get a little impatient I say fuck precision I'm about to full on and get this motherfucker So each and every one of y'all need to watch as I rip him First I clutch on to his spleen Take that out for him Cut his gallbladder There goes that organ Both kidneys Opinions even though the organ doesn't really matter But before you know it was left as an open shell of a human body And now all I wanna hear is the bone shatter <laughs> Crack skull Crack ribs everything Will tear snap vertebrae so we can pull Like a steel chair ah! <laughs> I love this shit <laughs> I love this shit do you not get that in my heart of us to sit in the ribbon and human anatomy upon us what I'm in love with, bitch? Oh, damn. All my senses are kicking in. No after effect, just that cold chilling that said to death where I did him in. Do you know what that is? That's right where you stand, man. This is where your blood was drawn, and this was your dying stance. So can you feel that nothing's covering you like the bike and it took control of your mind and you lose a hold of your sight again? But this is what happens when you move forward. And at night the it left you with a spiritual dungeon whenever your life should end. If you had acted with intelligence, you would have lived the fight again. Ooh, you trifling bastard, you would never catch it in light again. So after digging in and I'm severing all my pennies, you would have every bit of life. You have a thing, you dead. I will keep the remains and show them off as an example. I had a little swerve and had of his own match, a bit of fit of his own ashes. But then I don't know that that power was decimated the long line. Many good times while using this unusual get up. Back this style while you are traveling to this temple of horror that is singles you out. Cause unlike you, I ain't gotta tell nobody to bring your bitch ass from up out of that house, nigga. I'm already in their basement, I can drag them from up out of that house quicker. And that bitch is surrounded by my Ooh. niggas that's already plotting. Whatever we're doing for the execution, I do with the movie, taking niggas over the topic. Ah! Ready for the test and all, even the stress and all motherfuckers alive, vexed and all. Under the grass, so they get that direction, under the grass, with a bullet to the chest and a hole in their neck. As for your death, the wait is almost over. Bitch, I just wanted you to die, painful and slow, and the only breeze. I let even a pint of blood flow through your system at this point in time, because I still got one level of torture to go, nigga. A6! Mm. Mm. Let's go, baby. Hold it down! Hold it down, hold it down, hold it down! Hold it down. Yeah, I'll keep it up if y'all want, don't matter. Um, now, this is K Quick's return to the ring. Platform. <laughs> See. And so he had plans to come back strong. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> but there was just one problem with that. What is it? They threw him in the ring with me. I ain't the nigga to try to come back on. <laughs> I heard it was war, so the gun's back on. To everybody that said I fell off, fuck you. I'm back on. My killer spree starts tonight, and you the nigga they put me back on? Pause. Well, it's back on. Shots flying, K got hit from his front, but it's back on. Act wow. calm. For this drama between you and I, find its way back to your mom. I'm a city boy, and I'm sending your country ass back to the farm, K. You in a harm's way. It's a wrap once I let this thing in my palm spray. Boy, this shot going straight to the head like Bombay. Somebody tell Keon pack a lunch, or you about to have a long day. This little nigga got me fucked up. See, he acting like ball for ball. We a match or something. And he keep me mugging like he want to scrap with me or something. Like I ain't got that strap with me or something. Well, actually, my faculty backing me. So on behalf of the God, these niggas are gladly blasphemy. But the funny thing about this, I didn't want this battle. You asked for me. Well, I hope you enjoy, nigga. Your brother told me you was looking for some work. Well, now you about to get employed, nigga. <laughs> Y'all remember Lux Third Round versus Calico, right? Yeah. He was trying to build out black people up. Well, I'm here to destroy niggas. I got a team full of soldiers, and they ready to be deployed, nigga. Trust me, ain't nothing sweet about this drama. You I'm a joy-ass nigga. <laughs> Didn't I tell you about coming up here with all that y'all ass yelling? Acting like you hurt stuff. Nigga, you can get wet from a wave of bullets. Surf's up. You look like you slurp nut. You the worst slut. Soft ass. This nigga turf tough. <laughs> so let's keep it phony. What you want to do? You want to match mitt? My bad. You want to match wits or fists? Either way, you losing. I told your brother because of him, I ain't going to fuck you up too bad. Well, but I'm going to give you a good bruising. <laughs> now, I came here for two reasons. I was to whoop your ass and party. I call that good grooving. Sniper style. Hit his ass from a thousand yards away. I call that good shooting. Oh, now, I mean, I see K quick. Now, let me rephrase that. I see a bitch. Summer's Eve. Trust and believe. This chopper come with a magazine you don't want to read. You want it with me? Fine. Let's get right to the action, nigga. You hype acting like you some tight captain. To that rifle blasting, and I'm sending your soul to moonwalk in the sky with Michael Jackson. I'm nice with the rapping. You just alright, nigga. Like I told J-Mo, it's almost over, nigga. But you still got you a long night to go through, nigga. Okay. Alright, man. Make some noise! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Ain't no two old in this bitch. Ain't no two old in this bitch. Stop fucking lying. Anyway, you doing exactly what the fuck I thought you would do. Right. Some bully shit. Mm hmm I have not heard one bar for you when you're not popping the clip. That's right. But let me ask you something. Do y'all remember when I said that life ain't sexist, you want this access, and you must push through with a passion to persevere past any apparent disasters? But when that stands you in the face, you are comfortable holding your pussy hoes and let the pussy know that you fuck when you face that goob, you know. Now you understand that you in front of a child of the night who's smart enough to know that you're the vulnerable type. Yeah, when I take flight and I see him in broad day, I save him from the UB race, switch the blade to stab a hole through sun shades and put out his lights. Hold on, sun shades, lights out. This is a fight route. I wish nice. you would go across nice. that gun line. It's best believe I have the capability of taking your ass down five notches just by snapping on you one time. one time. You know the technique of locking a nigga in that hell? <laughs> I got it down to a T so we get trapped in that circle. Boxed in, you get broken and stomped to your knees and hopefully you have a rock chin. Hold on, I said we get trapped in that circle. Boxed in, you get broken and stomped. You're in need so hopefully you have a rock chin but I will give you a just do. Because you have age and experience on me. Mm -hmm. But kind yet. Oh, yeah. You're a bitch, sir. Because I distinctly remember passwords stating that only hoes and strippers we're named after brands of fucking liquor. <laughs> well, since you a rat, I'ma put that fucking rat trap on him. Be simple, wake up, find a way that I can lash back on him. Snatch back on him. Get a Greek rat back on him. He get the rock and then it's had a snap back like he got a fucking snap back on him. Oh, oh shit, you do. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, can you believe this shit? I got a feeling even in this right mind, Oral Sound, but they do better read this shit. I got a feeling you and your team will cease to never be seen again, but you know what? I find it very amazing how for a person to get that job, you have to cross any personal boundaries. Oh, but I could if I wanted to. Because I could have easily stated how simple it was for me to have certain members of your family strung up in front of you with how your son, Taquan, right? Mm -hmm. And your daughter, 
Devonda, you got two of them. Seven year old, two year old. Mm -hmm. How they all could have been gotten just because they carry from the same line, and how you probably would have thought it was just because the girls are all the kids could have been dropped at the oh. same time. Oh. Oh, but you know what? Scratch that completely, completely, because the truth of the matter is, I love kids. I love kids, and the burden that has been brought upon yours is just sad because it is not their fault. In any way, shape, or form, they were born with this curse to be raised underneath a pussy for a dad. So, how do you feel now you letting your boy be down? Woo! No disrespect to him at all, I'm just saying, listen, cause after this battle we're gathering in a circle of silence for you, cause I guarantee you're gonna have a meeting with him, and you claim to be the one pulling cards. Idea! Try me, nigga, cause I guarantee you walk in the circle, you'll never find another animal like me, nigga. I couple side with the demons, wicked and lava defeat this motherfucker, couple deceiving with the lava defeat this. I can defeat any motherfucker walking this territory in the devil, cause have you ever had a chance to stand face to face with a fucking devil? Well, I did. I was standing facing the death, and I came back, nigga. And if you want to know the difference between this and your real trap, nigga, I'm the real definition of a motherfucker who's dying, led, bled for this real rap, nigga. A6. He just lost the battle. Stop laughing, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Your whole style is whack. Bullshit. <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself, my nigga. I saw that battle against Spanish Harbor. Talk to I do. And for that performance alone, you should hang yourself. Better yet, get a pistol, aim it at your head, bang yourself. You a disgrace to battle rap. You should be shot. No, you should be stabbed. No, you should be shot, stabbed, dragged, set the fuck on fire, then thrown in the bag. I mean, this shit's sad. Mm -hmm. It's 2014. This little nigga stuck in 95. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me wrong, though. For hip hop, the 90s was live, but come on, guy. That style you trying to run with, bit over and done with. So you think that shit gonna change the game? Nigga, you on some dumb shit. <laughs> but let me guess. You think that flow gonna help bring Brom back? What? My bad, let me say it again for you. <laughs> you think that flow gonna help you bring Bone back? Oh, that's what Well, <laughs> this chrome gat gonna help me make bones crack. Ooh, Your guns uh. for show, I got mines to go. Let's get it on, scrap. Your fan putting you in a pound box. I'm letting mines pop. You got that drama, you squeeze the llama. You kick that iron cock. Here's where the line stops. You flying the cops at that iron pops. I'm dying to watch you take your last breath. You know that walk you took to get here? Those was your last steps, nigga. <laughs> Once again, I'm past stress. They gave me a cock smuggler slash cock sucker, a so-called Glock buster, a nigga that love to act. So I brought movie clips for this Glock buster. <laughs> See, that gangster shit you be talking won't work here. You grew up on a farm, so we know you ain't seen much. What you know about police raids or keeping that machine tough? Or being in the trap house all night, counting all them green bucks? So when you say you a made man, nigga, you got to be cleaning up. I bet after this battle, his faggot ass gonna come to me like, Hey Vito, I think we should keep in touch. I never said that shit. Nigga, that's a bit much. <laughs> but um, hold up. Nigga, this Bob Benz. So I came here to let these bars bench you. Now please don't think it's the name Colin Gat that the bars tender. We get eight all night, nigga. It's 3-0. Everybody seen it. Clearly. No debate. I always wanted to do that shit. Nah, I ain't fucking up. I'm fucking you up to your gut. Uppercuts, nigga, what's up? Your fan right there, they watching you down on sight, nigga. It's all right. I made this a long night for you. Goodbye. Your career is over, nigga. It might be. <laughs> <laughs>